McKnight for baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll here. Our starter in this one, Shohei Otani. What do you got on him, Chris? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Here's Charlie Blackman. And a pitch. Foul ball there. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Next offering upstairs. Just missed. And that one is lifted in the air. Outman sizes this one up. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. So up next, Ezekiel Tovar. That's in there. It's 0-1. Tovar, 22 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. One out, base is empty. To third. Over to first. Two away. Now here's Nolan Jones. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. That pitch gets the corner. Going one. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Swing and a foul straight back. Next offering misses down and away. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Kicks and fires. Way high. Strike three, got him with the backdoor breaking ball. One, two, three, go the Rockies. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Mookie Betts leading things off and takes a strike. Yohan. The shortstop takes a ball. Turns and fires the bets. 
got him looking for the strikeout. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Outside low and one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses and now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The batter now will be Will Smith. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. Run around the move. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Max Muncy in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Freeman at second with two down. Next pitch is downstairs. That gets by him. Here comes Freddie around third. And he's out. Tried to score in the error, but instead the third out and the inning is over. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Second inning set to go. So in now for Colorado, Chris Bryant. The right-hander back to work. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Not close with that one, and yeah, that's ball two. On the ground, out to short. Now a jump throw. Bryant out of the play. Seeing an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. 
now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. There's the swing and a miss. Otani, multi-time all-star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. One down, base is empty. Inside, just missed. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. That one off the mark, and that's ball two. Comebacker to the mound. In plenty of time to first, two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Brian McMahon steps to the plate. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And that one clips the corner. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Two out, space is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, oh, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in L.A., bottom half of inning number two, and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. The wind of the pitch. And that's in there at the knees. On the ground right side. He takes it on his own and quickly one away in the second. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Run around at first with one gone. Here comes Chris Taylor. And there's a foul ball. And a curb misses outside. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. Hernandez leads off first with one away. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. And another ball.
Hit hard. Should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and the Dodgers have the lead. 1 nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. A well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Man at second with one away. And up next for Los Angeles, Kike Hernandez. That one ripped, but foul. Man at second. That's down and in. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. One out, runner at second. And now it's Gavin Lux. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One out, the runner at second. Bottom half of inning number two. And that one missing low. Here comes a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Left hand batter waits. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. And now the count filled up three and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. This one in the air center field. Doyle flashes the leather on the running catch. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mookie Betts. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Hard ground ball base knock. Around third. Now a long throw home. He'll score, and they lead by three. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Two outs, runner at first. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman. Swing, and this one's bounced on the ground. To first, and that ends the inning. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We played two full. It's the Dodgers three and the Rockies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Now the Rockies catcher, Elias Diaz. Otani back to work. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next one in the dirt.
on its way to the corner. Hernandez sizing it up. And there's one down. Sean Bouchard digging in for the Rockies. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And that's down it away. The Rockies trailing by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. The next pitch misses two and one. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. That clips a corner. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Two down, nobody on. All one there. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Rockies are down quietly. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. And we're back. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The why to kick the pitch. Just missed. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now those numbers are well above the major league average Doyle makes the play and there's one down here comes Max Muncy one for one with a single so far pitch misses and that is ball one And another ball. And now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on. What was a pretty big pitch? Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future if the umpire thinks there's a chance that he missed it. Next offering is down low. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Struck him out of the front door breaking ball. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four and he wasn't wrong. I and mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. And now James Outman. First pitch misses.
two outs. Up and in, and now 3 0. Oh. Teoscar Hernandez waiting for a turn at the plate. A wind in the pitch. There's a the strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Snap throw to first. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And a curve misses outside. Off the mark there. Two and one. Back to back breaking pitches away you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you that he doesn't want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here the pitch swing and a miss and now two and two fell and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive and a good pitcher will play off of that he's got to get a better pitch to hit. This one popped up foul ground first base side. Bryant makes the grab and that's the third out. So the Dodgers leave one but they lead it three nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Charlie Blackman. Otani back to work. That just misses, and it's 1 0. Here's a fun fact Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Freeman puts it away, and there's one down. Ezekiel Tovar digs in now. 0 for 1 so far. Backed off the plate that time. One down, base is empty. There's a strike at the knees. And it's one and one. The shortstop takes the ball. That one fouled off two and two. This to third. Muncie sends it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. And yeah, the batter now, Nolan Jones. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Misses off the plate. One and oh. Jones measures six feet four inches 195 pounds and he's usually in right today starting in left.
Two down, nobody on. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. The pitch. On the ground. And foul ball. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The Rockies yet to pick up a hit here. 3 2 now. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's a 1 2 3 inning for the Rockies. 1 2 3 go the Rockies. Still down 3 0. Back here in L.A., ready to go, bottom four. Here comes Chris Taylor. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. That one missed. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And now the lefty knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Back gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 4 0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's Kike Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Here's a high chopper, and he grabs it in foul ground. Nobody on, nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Lux batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Around second now, going for three. The relay throw, and he's out. Absolutely perfect execution of the relay right there to cut him down at third. And he probably should have shut it down at second base and been happy with the double, but it took a great play to get him. You just have to tip your cap. So the batting order turns over. Now it's Mookie Betts. One for two. 
That clips the inside corner for a strike. And it's fouled away. The 0-2. That one way inside. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Just a slow ground ball this time. Throws to first. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Dodgers add one to their lead on the solo homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. And the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. But all these Rockies just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. And here it comes. And a good eye there. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And that just misses. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Chop to third. And he grabs it foul. And the right hater deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. And he deals. Fought off foul. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Line drive, base hit. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Man at first with one gone. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Fastball for a strike. At the belt and fires. Rogers stands at first with one out. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Sliced hard, but foul. Now this is in the air down the line. Hernandez ranging after it. Nabs it. Runner tagging from first. Now and now it's Elias Diaz. Slide to right, 
his first time. Just missed. Outside low. Now 2-0. Swing and a miss, strike one. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. On the ground to third. Oh, look at the stop. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Just missed. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Nick Mears getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count even one and one. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Doyle going back on this one. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. The 2 Got it by him for the K. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think he's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much that swing. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Kyle Freeland won't go any further, and it's going to be a start that he'd like to get a redo on. Not his best. Warm in a minute. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Nick Mears. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So digging in, James Outman. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. That one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Next pitch misses way outside. Connect on the curveball struck him out. 
One left for L.A., but they're in front 4-0. And we're back. And now the right fielder, Sean Bouchard. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off left side. The pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Got him on the off-balance throw. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. And stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. The Dodgers leading by four, and we're the top half of the sixth. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh, there's the three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Chuck Nasty. Fouled off to the right. And a foul ball. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Next offering is downstairs. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. And they'll do it again. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Dodgers four, and the Rockies nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Jalen Beeks getting ready to come on for Bud Black. That one outside, and the count is 2-0. Righty to the plate. Hernandez started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. He did not go around. Now one is inside ball four. 
And I mean, oh, so close. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first. And then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Chris Taylor now. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, Boogie, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. In the air out to center. Doyle pulls it down. The bat, the right fielder, Kike Hernandez. Here's Kike Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Hernandez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Wouldn't chase that time. Still two and two after the foul ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Man at first, and up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. That catches the outside corner. That's strike one. Two outs. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. That's the third out. Inning over. So the Dodgers leave one. They lead 4 nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We go to the top of the seventh. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. The pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Hernandez hustling after it. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. So, man aboard. Next to hit for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit, and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going.
Left hand batter waits. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Vesia getting cranked up as well. And another ball. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here at the top half of inning number seven. That one misses. Now three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Fly ball down the line. Hernandez has it sized up. He's got it. Runner tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. So next will be the four hole hitter for the Rockies, Chris Bryant. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Ball one, no strikes. One away with a runner at third. And now two and nothing. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. That one finds the zone and a count two and one. in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. 99 pitches about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. Swing and a miss struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Left field, way back there. And that one is going to go. He jacks that one out to left. It's 4-2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Base is empty with two away. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. That's in there. That's strike one. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. One and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Base hit. <laughs> Elias Diaz will hit next. That one a little bit high. Ball one. Tying run at the plate. Just missed. Swing and a miss. 
Well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swings through that. The tying run at the plate. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Sean Bouchard up next for the Rockies. Two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Rockies edging closer with this shot. It's now 4-2. Bottom of the seventh, and now Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. The pitch. And strike one to Mookie Betts. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. And, and he can't hang on. And he beats it. He's safe. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One for three. In for a strike. Going one. Nobody out. Runner at first. That one drilled left field. Jones snags it. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Way inside. Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's a foul ball. And that's off the inside edge, and it's two and one. Pickoff throw, and he's back in standing. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. Stays alive. And the right hander deals. Headed towards the corner. Bouchard racing over to make the catch. And now it's Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Pitch is in there. And that's strike one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. 
McMahon settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. One left for L.A. as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Bruce Dar Grotterol. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error but at the same time there's a reason they're put in these situations. So in now for Colorado Sean Bouchard. And he deals. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. you will 1. Little chopper rolls foul. And takes low for ball one. And another ball. At the belt and fires. Here's a rocket out to left. And out number one on the grab. So up next, Brenton Doyle, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 1. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. The Rockies down by a pair, and we're in the top of the eighth. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. In the air, right field. Hernandez has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. So the lineup flips over. Next for the Rockies is the DH, Charlie Blackman. Foul ball there. That one's in there, and it's nothing in two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They trail it here, four to two. Back here in LA, here's the center fielder, James Outman. And the pitch. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Here comes the 0-1. Good eye right there. And the righty deals. That one hit to right. 
corrals it. One away. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. That's a little bit low. And here it comes. Base is empty one away. Here are the bottom half of the eighth inning. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Just missed. Right handed reliever. And that one hammered. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And now, Chris Taylor. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. That's towards center on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. So man aboard next to hit Enrique Hernandez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hernandez on its second with two down. Misses, and it's two and two. Man on second, two down. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Upstairs. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Gets a piece and stays alive. inside ball four it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat Well, a great back and forth and that at bat he had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there i'll tell you right now i couldn't have done it jalen beats takes over on the mound and this could be a pretty critical point in this game they're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance So first and second with two outs. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. There's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it. 
to be better than it actually was. They had a foul ball. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That one's upstairs, ball one. Now one and two. Two on, two outs. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. A strong showing from the Colorado bullpen. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers four and the Rockies two. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Evan Phillips. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And a pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Hernandez tracks it down for the out. Nolan Jones now at the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And there's the strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And a pitch. That's to third, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that rolls into the corner. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. He was all over that one. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. to the left side but it is well foul as a pitcher you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed a base hit's probably going to be a big run so you really have to execute on the mound with the tying run at the plate here at the top of the ninth and the next pitch is way outside Tying run at the plate. Goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Rockies down to their last out. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brendan Rodgers. He's already homered in this game. Pulls that one foul. The Rockies down to their final strike. And a curve is down and in. Yeah. 
Now it's belted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And this game is tied. It's 4-4. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing and we're all tied up. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two away with nobody on. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Four four in the ninth. Wouldn't chase that time. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson getting ready to go. Vasia warming up as well. Two oh. And there's a foul ball. Tied at four. And another ball. Elias Diaz up next. Next offering in there for a strike. Full count now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got him swinging. Had him out front for strike three. But this clutch home run gets us even again. It's now tied 4-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Bottom nine. And now it's Mookie Betts. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And a good eye there. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Up and in, 2 and 0. Oh. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Rodgers jumps, throws, one out, bottom of the ninth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. There's the strike, 95 of that one. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. That one hooked foul. Slider misses outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Chop to first. Bryant. He'll do it himself. And that quickly, two away. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. 
swings and misses. 0 and 1. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Trying to send this extra innings. Swings and misses. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Dodgers down in order. This game's all tied at four. Back now, we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Daniel Hudson. Daniel Hudson. Go ahead, run on base. And now here is Elias Diaz. The pitch. That's in for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. He's falling behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. And downstairs. Man, it's second. Got him. One away. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Now a move being made at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, Sam Hilliard. Now it's the right fielder, Sean Bouchard. Fastball for a strike. Tied at four. And he takes a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Joe Kelly, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Vesia also throwing. Here comes a pitch. That's a really good take. Righty to the plate. Got him looking. That's the second out. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. And here in extra innings. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs and another ball. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. On the ground, right side. Throws to first in time, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. So one left for Colorado, still all square at four apiece. Now into the ball game on defense, and Lowry's Montero. He's the new third baseman. Max Muncy at the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. 
Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Here's your one. And a swing and a miss. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just... Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Pitch misses outside. 1-0. And fouled off. Winning run stands at second. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Teoscar Hernandez in the on deck circle. Caught up now trying to get to third. The tag, and he's out. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Jake Bird. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Fouled off. He was late. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. This one in the dirt. The tag and got him at second. And we're headed to the 11th. And welcome back to the ballpark. 11th inning set to get underway. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Hudson back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Man at second. Swings through that one out in front that time. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball three. Ezekiel Tovar getting on deck circle. going to get into the corner. 
He's in safely at second as a run scores. What a way to get it going. A double to not comb the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places, and now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Fastball for a strike. The pitch on the ground right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's the left fielder, Nolan Jones. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That's to third. Tosses across to first, and there's two away. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. 0 for 4 with three strikeouts, and he's grounded out. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And the slider just misses. Off the mark there. And now 2 0. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. The pitch. Got him swinging. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Rocks with a run scoring double. It's now a 5 4 ball game. You're dialed into the show. We're in extras here. Now the batter now, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. That misses, and that's ball one. Well, in this situation with the runner on second, you've got to get him up to third. Think back up the middle or to right field. Next offering is down low. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Sizing this one up. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Rick Taylor. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Justin Lawrence. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's already homered here in this one. There's the strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Kicks and deals. Check swing. Did he go? No. Next pitch is inside. Now two balls and a strike. 
trying to close out a one-run lead, and we're in the bottom of the 11th. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Jones on a dead sprint, racing back. Gone! Ball game! Another homer, and the Dodgers walk it off in the 11th. When you get to extra innings, it seems like every guy is trying to come up with the big swing to hit the homer and end the ball game. Well, he did it. Huge swing of the bat, and we're all heading home. Six five the final here today. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.